Welcome to 15th of December's Gaudi Blessing. Now, there's something known as happiness which is received from the Supreme Creator and the happiness which we think is the real happiness. Supreme Creator says that I give you happiness by sharing the beautiful words of wisdom along with you and all those words make you happy, make you blessed, make you see the things beyond your physical senses and you can see three things through actually further ahead in your life. You're able to make decisions on the basis of that. So he gives us the wisdom to see three, see things through beyond our physical senses. Imagine that. It's something to do with the third eye. When a third eye is open, that means the eye of sixth sense or the eye of consciousness. That's the time we can see through people. We can see through situations and we can make the most wisest of the decision as to what should we do now so that two years hence five years hence ten years hence and even if you're a yogi soul a wise soul in your next life what you want to have that's how far you can see and actually you can see many many folds further away from that too so let's see what does god have to say about happiness over here Godfather says, may you be embodiments of happiness and give everyone happiness as master bestowers of happiness. So confluenced age Brahmins, those souls who have the knowledge of the creation and the creator are known as Brahmins. Means those who have no name or trace of sorrow because as children of the bestower of happiness, you are masters, bestowers of happiness. Now, God is bestowing happiness onto us. He's telling us, don't be wary, the good days are coming. Everything is supposed to go through a chaos right now in Kali Yuga, and then the good days are going to come. And you can prepare for that by becoming lighter and more soul conscious. So the beauty of this beautiful knowledge is that it makes us more lighter and more soul conscious and reduces the number of wasteful, impure unwanted thoughts and automatically the soul has got less number of thoughts and you become more happier less confused less competitive with the whole world around you in the worldly sense and more loving to God what else do you need so then God says how can those who are master bestowers of happiness embodiments of happiness have sorrow means somebody who is meditating, somebody who's got the divine knowledge of how to make the mind and intellect stable cannot have sorrow. You have stepped away from the land of sorrow, which is Kali Yuga or the Iron Age with your intellects. That means we are living physically in the Kali Yuga, but it doesn't affect us. You yourselves are embodiments of happiness and also always give happiness to others, even if somebody is saying something impure, negative, wasteful about you. If you are a Brahmin soul who has been meditating, who has got the knowledge of the past, present and the future coming world, then you'll know how to react and how to act. It's just like knowing the script. What kind of scene is going to come and how I need to be prepared to behave, to act and react in the scene. That's how the actors act, right? Because they know what exactly is going to come in the uh, next scene. If suppose the actor wasn't told by the director what's going to come in the next scene, imagine the condition the state of mind and here the revelations when they happen and God tells us exactly what's coming in the future and we're already ready we're getting prepared mentally physically emotionally and spiritually when all these things are getting done for us then happiness is there then God says just as the fast just as the father always gives happiness to all souls in the same way whatever is the father's task is the task of you children means as the father so the child and as the child is so the father can be shown that means a child is the first glimpse of his father or her father Gautam says even if others cause you sorrow you cannot cause them sorrow your slogan is do not cause sorrow do not take sorrow so if you don't take sorrow, if you don't take anybody's 
lascivious words if you don't drink them if you don't take the poison of somebody's words then the poison is not going to go into your mind and the body and so you won't be taking it out onto somebody else how do you do that how do you become so powerful that you don't take somebody's poison is what you learn in prama kumari's godly spiritual university for more details do contact the prama kumari's center nearby you in your city with this om shanti